Welcome back to AP Chem. Today I wanted to do a little reaction for you. Usually you would do this one with me in the lab yourself, but since you can't and we weren't able to get to it in class today, I wanted to go ahead and record a little video for you. This is the common ion effect, okay? And what we have here is copper chloride and it's hydrated with water. Okay, so you can see copper there and water. This is more blue. When that's mixed with the chloride, going to form copper chloride, which is more of a green color, and water. Okay, so it's a type of dissolving reaction. And since we have a color change, blue to green, it'll be a little bit more obvious which way the reaction is moving. A common ion is something that is in common. So you see how we have chlorine there in the reaction. A common ion would be something that is not just chlorine, but that has chlorine in it. And so adding that to the reaction can actually shift your reaction back and forth. So what's in my little test tubes here is copper chloride. Okay. That's actually all that's in here right now. And I'm going to leave one of these, the first one, as a blank so you can compare the color and see how the color changes. And in the first one, I'm going to put a little bit of a salt solution. This is sodium chloride, and that's your common ion. It's not just chloride. But because there is chloride in there and it's going to dissolve, it's, it's like I'm adding um, that chloride ion to it. All right, so here is my salt. This is 0.3 grams of salt. We'll add that in there. And then I'm basically just going to up the amount. Okay, so that was 0.3 grams. This one will be 0.6. And the third one will be 0.9. And you might be able to see a color change happening already. So this last one's 0.9. So they're increasing as we go. So we're adding more salt to the solution. Okay, here's my control. Here's my first one. Mix that up a little bit. Colors are always a little bit difficult with a camera, but I can definitely see a color difference. And not all that salt has even dissolved yet. But this one is definitely more blue, and these are definitely more green. Okay, they're almost like a green yellow kind of color. Okay, and we can let that dis salt dissolve just a little bit more. So take a look at your equation again. We started out blue. And we added some of that chlorine, I added a common ion, and we actually ended up a little bit more green. Okay, and if you understand Le Chatelier's principle, that should make sense to you. We added this one, so it should, you should make sense that it's going to shift this way. All right, there's some other things we can have fun with this with. So that's your basic reaction. Um, these need to be a little bit better dissolved. The salt doesn't want to dissolve in there for me. Because, you know, sodium chloride is not the only common ion that we have. There's other things that might shift this reaction and get us to see a pretty good color change here. It doesn't really want to dissolve all the way for me. But still, if we look at our most concentrated one compared to... Our, this is our control, this is our most concentrated, you can definitely see that color difference. All right, so let's add a little something else. This is silver nitrate. Okay, silver nitrate solution. And that's silver, Ag, and nitrate, NO3. If you look at our reaction, that actually isn't part of the reaction. There isn't nitrate written here, and there isn't silver written here but it might actually do something to the reaction. So let's see what happens. We add a bit of this. To, I'm gonna add it to this one right here. So it's dissolved just a little better. There's some salt that has not dissolved yet. It would probably take a little while to actually get it all to dissolve. 
Let's see what happens when we add some of this. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of silver nitrate. Silver nitrate does actually have silver in it. Um, I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. It's a very uh, light color, a little bit grayish, that silver in there, but kind of clear, a little bit of a gray liquid. says I have to add 20 drops. That's quite a bit. Three, four. Okay, so that was 20 drops of silver nitrate. Ooh, it made this kind of interesting frothy color on the top. There's a bit of a precipitate in there. Yeah, you see that little bit of um, like a chunky? Isn't that cool? Something has precipitated out. kind of pretty from where I'm standing. It's like a light, it's almost like a springtime green with little bits of white. See that? There's your precipitate. Alright, so I'm not actually going to tell you, but you could see the reaction and you saw what happened. And for comparison, here's my original color. But then here was the other one. You can see that that's not as green as it was. There's a precipitate in there. There's definitely something else coming out. It's a little bit more blue than it used to be, but it is still green. Like to the to my eye, it looks like kind of like a light mint green. This is a more of a deeper green, and then that blue. Okay, so that was adding silver nitrate. So see if you can think of and tell me what you think happened there, and why that precipitated like that. Maybe what happened when you added silver nitrate. So that is the common ion effect. We uh, did not. We added something that was not actually in the reaction. But there was a common part, the chlorine, and it changed it pretty drastically. And then we added an, a third chemical that wasn't in this at all, but that might react with something in here and form some kind of precipitate. All right, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.